As part of the celebrations of the Spring Festival, London Eye, one of Britain's landmarks, is illuminated in red and gold, the auspicious colors traditionally used on the Chinese New Year. It's the Year of the Dragon, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's like phenomenal. It's so it's just stunning. You know, for the last five years, um, we have been lighting up the London Eye for Chinese New Year. And to have a special year like this, where it's the Year of the Dragon, makes it all that more special. It means uh, loyalty, a drive forward, and an active pursuit of something wonderful. Happy New Year! I hope you have a fantastic year! Meanwhile, British businesses are hoping to capture the opportunity during the festive season. In celebration of the Year of Dragon, restaurant Hakkasan in central London unveiled a special menu featuring new dishes incorporating such elements like dragon and Chinese lantern, and special cocktails topped with a piece of red crisp inspired by Chinese paper cutting. It's a really special occasion and a, a most important date within um, our calendar for the year. Bringing friends and families together, we make sure that we have loads of different celebrations throughout the, the period of Chinese New Year and Spring Festival. Dot said China is one of the countries that intrigue her the most and she would love to go back again to visit. When I was 16, so um, a few years ago, it was incredible. We traveled all over, kind of did the sightseeing uh, Great Wall of China, and we went to Shanghai. And it was really interesting to kind of see the different places, really interact with um, the things that make China so special. Um, and I would like to go back there again. This year's celebrations in Britain range from special museum exhibitions and Chinese cuisine tasting events to the grand parade and performances at London's Trafalgar Square, one of the biggest celebrations outside Asia. Francis Wood, a well-known British Sinologist, told Xinhua that the charm of Spring Festival and Chinese culture in general is increasing internationally. When I was young, nobody knew about Chinese New Year or anything like that, and it's really I mean, in the last couple of decades, that it's become much stronger. In December last year, the United Nations officially listed Spring Festival as a UN floating holiday in its calendar of conferences and meetings starting in 2024, a move that will help the world to know better about Chinese culture and history. Well, I, I think it's great, and I think it's very important that China is one of the most important countries in the world, and its special celebration should be recognized. And I think. There's so much richness to Chinese culture and history, and people are very happy to absorb it and learn about it.